We should be able to get this done in four parts. Whoever knew it would take four parts? But then again, there's close to, I don't know, 600 records here, so. Flesh for Lulu. This was probably one of the biggest selling albums of the entire 80s. So was this. Unfortunately, the record jacket is in bad shape. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. Joan Baez. And yes, Angela Bowie did record a solo album. Only Pink Floyd I have left on vinyl. I sold the others. Sugar Cubes. This was Bjork's first band. Christine McVie from Fleetwood Mac. You didn't see that. And I don't like Willie Nelson. I don't know why I have this. I didn't say I liked a lot of these albums. I just have them. I don't like this either. This has Saturday in the Park on it. Classic. Don't tell anybody I have this in my collection. Two more stacks to go. Uh, this one is uh, also Paul Katner and Grace Slick from the late 60s, I guess. And it uh, it's really weird. It's got some really strange music on it. Classic Lee and Nancy album. The Bird's Greatest Hits. What a great album. Rolling Stones, It's Only Rock and Roll. Rolling Stone's first Hot Rocks compilation. One of the tracks off of this was used in Kill Bill Volume 1. Crazy World of Arthur Brown. This is some weird shit. We're starting to get into the hard rock and all of that from the 70s. Classic rock. This contains the classic track, Don't Fear the Reaper, album from my friend Helios Creed, racist bigot Ted Nugent, Eagles classic rock album, Hotel California, Eagles greatest hits. I adore Helen Reddy. Live album from Leonard Skinner. Live album from Rick Derringer. Live album from Blue Oyster Cult. This was a friend's band in Hawaii, Sacred Rite. We're getting in some more soundtracks now. Um, this one's pretty rare too.
this one is very rare. My mother got this for me when I was 13 years old. This record's thrashed. The actual jacket. This is a German release of music from different Dirty Harry movies. Yes, the jacket is shredded, but the vinyl is in excellent condition. And this soundtrack is really hard to find on vinyl. This movie is about my cousins. That's right. They are my first cousins. The Von Trapps. Donovan box set. This is very rare right here. Nancy Sinatra. Don't know why I collected her music. I'm not really a fan. As you can see, a pretty extensive collection. Same with Petula Clark. Not really a fan of hers either. I collected these because I heard Winona Ryder was a fan of hers. And some of her music is good. This right here might just be the most printed record in all of music history. <laughs> 